like Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Ayy, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate a plot in my elimination. Gotta go. We did it! 6 a.m. workout! Complete! Now he's gotta go to work. Do you wanna say anything? The vlog has missed you. They've been asking you. They have? Yeah. Okay. Um, about 64 minutes. I've burned 910 calories. I have so I've, many. I've hit my calorie goal and it's not even 7.30 yet. Take it to the bank. All right, I love you. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh. Okay, I really gotta go. Okay, love you. Oh, where's my, oh, okay. Okay, I love you. Love you, bye. All right, you can keep the dogs. Okay. Make sure you feed them. I will. Love this door. Okay. I love you. I love you. <laughs> That was our first time trying Pit Fit. If you are in Dallas, highly recommend that class. Our friend Spencer actually teaches classes there, so we just went to, hi. It was so good. It's better than all those other ones because it's actually a full hour rather than like 30 minutes or 45 minutes, which I prefer. Got it done, we got it done. Wearing all Gymshark, as always. But today, you guys, we have some errands to run. Dude, this bun is freaking tight today. I put two hair bands and it's like, <sighs> Stuck to my head. I honestly just feel so good knocking out a workout in the morning. I forgot how much I love 6 a.m. workouts, like really early morning workouts. I will probably be doing more classes because I don't know. They just are like so fun and you feel so fulfilled and you don't have to think about anything. You just wake up and you do it. I wanna say good morning. Did I wanna say good morning to you? Hi. Darling. Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you send me. Okay, normally I would not leave the house without making the bed, but this morning we had to leave at like. 520 so I didn't make this this morning but make your bed make your bed some people say I don't think it makes that big of a difference well you know what I disagree making your bed start your day off on the right foot like you do the first thing in your day right granted today I didn't make the bed the first thing but she's made now okay I'm gonna hop in the shower really quick and then we can pick out an outfit and get ready for the day okay because dude I stink it doesn't, it is not good. It is not good. Almost lost my tail there. Okay. Easy enough. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really trying to step up like my fashion game this fall. Like I'm trying to layer more. I'm trying to get more coats, more jackets. I wanna show you guys a few outfits and I need your help. I need your opinions. What looks good? What's working? What's not working? I wanted to say a quick thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. I love your clothes. You make me way more fashionable than I ever would be without you. Princess Polly actually ships free within the United States and you get express shipping, which is three to four days in the United States if you order stuff over $50. Princess Polly also offers shop pay and after pay. And if you like any of these items that I'm about to show you, including this puffer, I do have a code. It's for 20% off and the code is Kylie20 and it only lasts for a month. So if you see anything that you like, use my code and you can get money off. I'm very excited about some of these picks, you guys. They're very my style. Like they're very like athleisure elevating it. You know what I mean? But there's also some stuff that's way out of my comfort zone. So we'll see. Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully it, hopefully it looks okay on me. I'm being dead serious when I say this might be my new favorite jacket of all time. First off, this green color, phenomenal. It's so good for fall. I just paired it with like my athleisure because this is like 
truly something I would wear to the gym or like walking around. And secondly, I was so surprised with the quality of this. It's not one of those puffers that like barely has any puff in it, okay? Big Mama needs some puff. This is not one of those puffers that barely has any puff in it, okay? This is one of those puffers that is freaking puffed up. Like, this is what we want, okay? This is what we want when we want a puffer. So, very, very pleased with this one. If they had more colors, I would 100% get it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is this the coat of my dreams? It's literally like a Sherpa Teddy material. Peacoat vibes. Literally, me in a jacket. It's me in a jacket, it is. I love this thing so much. I did layer it with a sweatshirt that I just already had. So I got a small medium, but honestly, I kind of wish I would have sized up if I'm gonna be layering this. If you're not gonna be layering this, get your normal size, but like this one, I, I kind of wish I would have sized up because I'll probably wear it with sweatshirts underneath, but I'll still wear it because it's, it's really cute. I have been looking for a good trench coat for so long now. This one is way cuter than any of the other ones I was looking at because it's not like true trench coat material. It's more loose and slicky, so it's way more comfortable. Also, if you tie it up, what the heck? That's so cute. And then it also has these sleeve ties, which makes it a lot more feminine, in my opinion. But this would be so cute, just like walking around the city, going to get my coffee. And then this top, it might just look like a simple black top, which I love a good simple black top, but just wait. It's open back. It has like a tie right here. It's still just a simple black top, but it's very elevated. So I love, this might be my favorite thing that I got from Princess Polly, even though it's just a black tank top, but it's very cute. Okay, I also have an outfit that's very similar to this one. I'm just gonna change the pants really quick, so. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. This is freaking it. I love trousers. They're so in right now in brown and black. Very cute. Like, look at that. Stunning. Dude, I love this outfit. Love it. Okay, the last outfit I'm gonna show you is definitely out of my comfort zone. This is the one that I was talking about. So I'm, I'm nervous to show you guys. Okay, I actually love it. Like, what? Is she? It's like a sparkly shirt dress. It is so cute. And it's kind of casual, but like also fancy at the same time. But you guys, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Okay, the Apple Watch is kind of throwing off the vibe, but don't worry about that. So cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the puffer and the athleisure look. I think I'm gonna go see if I can try and pick up these mirrors that I ordered yesterday from Bed Bath & Beyond because I am finally going to start on my office. This is like the first thing that I wanna do to the loft. So I need to go pick up these mirrors. I'll kind of explain what I'm gonna do. I'm still gonna do like a design with me video. Don't worry, it's just that is gonna take me a long time, that video to film. So I need to do it when I have more time and I don't have any time this week. So I just wanna give you like a quick rundown on the off. So basically what I wanna do, okay, this is definitely annoying, is make this wall kind of an accent wall. I'm gonna move this, either keep it in here or move it somewhere else, I don't really know. Thin strips of wood side by side all along this wall. Then I wanna hang three arch mirrors. I'll kind of like draw in what I'm thinking. Here, I'll give you like a little boop. Yes, that. And then on this side, I'm gonna paint the room white. I need this stuff out of here. It's driving me crazy. I'm gonna paint the whole house white, but I'm looking for more of a neutral white rather than a bright white. Tell me which one you like best. I know which one I like best, but on this wall, I think I wanna do like an art or like some Thing cool here, I haven't figured that out. And a little couch or like a pull-out couch here. Step number one is to go get those mirrors. Okay, honestly, I'm stressed. These are not in here. They're like, they like barely fit. Like literally, barely. And I'm afraid my back is gonna just fling open and they're gonna fall out. I need a coffee. Sugar cookie latte. Whoa, whenever I'm with you. Secured the bag. That was so embarrassing. I really hope no one saw me do that. 
Oh my god, there is a man right there. I think a puffer was not a great choice. Like, it's kind of cold, but it's not really cold at all, and I'm getting quite toasty. I don't even want to say it. It's 68 degrees outside. Okay. A puffer combined with a hot drink. Um, not my smartest move. Also, I got the reduced fat turkey bacon sandwich. No cheese. Because I don't want to poop myself. Yeah, that hits. Okay, I did it. I'm sweaty, but I did it. Ta-da! Got them in the room. <sighs> okay, waking up early has its perks. It's only 2.30 and I feel like I've lived a whole day. I will definitely, I think I'm gonna start doing that again. I think I'm gonna start getting up at like 6, 5.30 if possible. I showed you a little clip of like all those sticky notes that were at Starbucks. One of them just stuck out to me like right away and it was, you can be at the right place at the right time and miss out on what God has for you because of your own perspective. And I talked about this on my Instagram story a little bit because I posted on there and people were like, wow, yeah, that's so good. And I thought it was so good too. I was like, wow, I can count on like so many times that I've probably missed out on like so many opportunities because I was like stuck in a negative headspace or stuck in like focusing on the bad or like the adversity rather than being like, wow, this could really be an opportunity where like God could use me or God could shape me or like something good could really come of this. You have so little control over like so many things in life, right? But your perspective on things is something that you have a lot of control over and you can honestly change the way you see the world, change how you see certain situations that you're in, change how you see adversity or problems that you face just by kind of changing your perspective on it. I don't know. I just thought that was a really cool little note. Something that I forget often, honestly, and I should be better at, but um, it's like something you have to practice every day. I don't know. I, was, I just read it and I was like, whoa. Like that is so, whoa. Oh, my babies. Come on. Jump join in. Yeah. Ranger, no, where'd you go? Do you guys need to go potty outside? <laughs> I'm crashing. I have to snap out of it because Bronson and his men's league, Rec League, are in the championship tonight. I know. I can't believe they actually made it to the championship. I'm honestly surprised. So I have to go there tonight and support my boo. I'm going to make a quick dinner and then I'm going to head out because I can't be late. I just can't be late. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Okay, she's not the fanciest meal ever, but she'll get the job done. I just did a bunch of bell peppers, squash, zucchini, cauliflower gnocchi, shrimp, and then I just topped it with some avocado. I kind of tried to do the avocado fancy so you guys would think this was a fancy bowl, but really it took me five minutes. This is dinner. I'm just going to scarf this down and then we can go to Bronson's championship basketball game.